Well, a lot of parents and kids are back to school shopping this week, but have you thought about adding a bulletproof backpack to your shopping list? Julia LeBong from our sister station in Syracuse heard what some parents in New York have to say about this idea. With mass shootings happening across the country, some parents are considering arming their children with bulletproof backpacks. Bringing new things like that to the community could be uh, helpful. You know, safety is first. The item surfacing a few years ago, now sold in big box stores across the nation, mostly online under the manufacturer ProShield. A representative of the company says it's an everyday use item, but they do get calls about buying them for school children. It makes me wonder is it just Perpetuating the fear that something's going to happen and making people more worried. With this in mind, Kate Lyon wonders if this is the answer. I know how backpacks work, and they only cover so much of your body, right? So you'd have to be shot from the back for it to work, you know, running away. So that's still a whole lot of your body is not covered. Other parents agree, saying it's not practical. The heart's in a good place, but the execution of it doesn't really make sense. Most kids, when they get to school, they put their backpacks, they put them in a locker, or they hang them up. This feeling echoed by a local expert studying mass shootings and school security. Think about you're putting a bulletproof backpack on your child's back that's going to cause them back problems because you're afraid they might get shot with their statistical likelihood being less than five ten thousandths of a percentage. Instead of looking at arming the children with a shield, Jacqueline Schildkraut has a different solution. Bulletproof underwear, bulletproof tank tops, bulletproof iPad cases, none of these things are going to save your life. The best thing that you can do is create a time barrier. Law